Hi guys, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Glenn by Sam. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new to my channel, then hi, so glad you're watching and I would absolutely love it if you subscribed. And if you are already a subscriber, then of course, hi, welcome back. So glad you're watching my channel again. So today's video is going to be my 2021 makeup collection and I'm super excited about this video because I often get a lot of questions like how much makeup do you have? What does your makeup collection look like? So I thought I would just make an updated version of my current makeup collection. Now I think there's probably some lipstick in some bags and some lip glosses here and there so it's probably not all of my makeup but it's like 99% of my makeup but I think right now without further ado we should just get started with the video so if you are excited to see my 2021 makeup collection then please keep on watching so I'm at my vanity right now and I'm going to try my best to show you everything that I have here. My camera doesn't have autofocus so I can't like show it to you up close because it won't be in focus. But I'm going to show you everything like this. So this is just a hand cream that's boring. Okay, so the first thing I have here is this Dreamy Re Vault from Colourpop. I showed this in one of my Colourpop hauls but it's basically just like the Super Shock Shadow Vault that they released for Christmas this year, I believe. So those are pretty much the only Super Shock shadows that I have from Colourpop. Then here I just have my e.l.f. Holy Hydration Fragrance Free Face Cream. It's just my moisturizer that I use every single day. And then here I just have my Anastasia Brow Freeze because it's still here from a video that I did. Then here I have this Colourpop Anna like PR box. I didn't get this in PR, you can just buy it on the site. And basically this has her lipstick, literally gel, and then the gloss and also my Elsa lipstick. So then here I just have some of my everyday lipsticks. There's Colourpop, there's Charlotte Tilbury, there's a Too Faced one from KKW. So there's just a lot of everyday like lipsticks. And I did a video on my favorite everyday lipsticks a while back and most of these are in that video. Then moving on to eyeshadow palettes, I'm not going to show you every single palette up close because then this video would be super long. I can do that one time if you guys want, but I don't want this video to be super long. But here I just have my Natasha Denona Love palette that I did a review on. Then I just have my Colourpop Hello Kitty, there's Natasha Denona, Charlotte Tilbury, Exaggerized palette, and then some more Colourpop palettes. So these are palettes I like to either have on display or I like to reach for a lot. And then right here, I just have Stone Cold Fox from Colourpop, which is a big palette. Then here is Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde. It's kind of hidden in here. And then here is the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice. And then my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette. So that is everything on my vanity. So now let's get to my Alex drawers. So then these are all my compacts and this is one of the Tidy Ups organizers. I did a video on Tidy Ups so I will link that in the description box. It's not sponsored or anything but I just really like their products. So here I have the Huda Beauty Tantor in the shade Fair. This is just a cream bronzer. Then I have this Nabla Skin Glazing Highlighter in the shade Ozone. Then I have Kylie Cosmetics Highlighter in the shade Princess Please. Then I have this Colourpop Cinderella Horse and Carriage Highlighter and this is one of my favorite highlighters. It is so stunning. I wear it a lot in videos. Then I have my Kylie and the Grinch blush. This is just a really pretty like pink blush. I'll show it to you quickly because this is actually one of my favorite blushes. This is what it looks like. It's just a really pretty pink blush. Then I have my only Ofra product in here. This is the Ofra Samantha March Blush Duo in the shade Chiclet. This is also one of my favorite blushes. It is really pretty and I love using this. Then I have MAC. Then I have this MAC highlighter in Soft and Gentle. This is really a classic but I only got it last year so I don't have it for a really long time. And then right here I have some compacts in the back that I don't really use. So there's an e.l.f. blush, a Beauty Bay highlighter and then a MAC blush. Then here in the front I have this e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder which I have yet to use. I have the Charlotte Tilbury blush in the shade First Love. I have one of my favorite Charlotte Tilbury products actually. This is the Mini Film Star Bronze and Glow and I love using both of these shades. Then I have this Nude Sticks in the shade Bondi Bay and I use this a lot in the summer as a cream bronzer. Right now I don't really use it as much. Here I have my favorite contour products. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour one. Then here I have a NARS Liquid Blush in the shade Orgasm. Really pretty and super pigmented. 
Then I have my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in the shade medium. And then I have my Hourglass palette, which I absolutely love. And it is really pretty. It was also really expensive. So I use that a lot, obviously. So then this drawer probably looks a bit overwhelming. This is one of my messiest drawers that I have. I just really don't have a place for these products. So I just put them all in here and sort of try to organize them. So I'll try to go through all of these. So I'm gonna start here in the back. I just have my concealers here. So I have two from Makeup Revolution in C1 and C2. I have a mini one from NARS in vanilla. I have a darker one from Makeup Revolution that I used to use for cream contour. And then I have this one from The Ordinary. And then I have this really light one that's still in the packaging. And I thought I would use this as an eye base, but I haven't really used it yet. Then right here, I have my foundations. As you can see, I currently only have one foundation open, which I'm super proud of. It looks a bit dirty, but this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade 1N1, which is actually one of my favorite products. So I use either this or I use the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Light 6W. These are both one of my favorite products. This one is a bit more full coverage and then this one is a bit more natural. And then I also have my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter here. Then here I have all of my glosses. So I have some mini ones from Fenty from the holiday set. I have this one from Charlotte Tilbury. This is one of my favorites, it's the Jewel Lips. Then I have the Colourpop Elsa gloss. I have a full size of the Fenty Glow one. So these are my glosses. And then here I have some lip liners. So I also have this Morphe sharpener here for my lip liners. But I just have a lot of Colourpop liners and Charlotte Tilbury. Just a lot of lip liners that I like to use. So then here I have some lipsticks that I don't use on an everyday basis, but I still like to use. So then here, this is even more messy. I have my Fenty Beauty Powder in the shade Butter. And this is the messiest thing ever in my makeup collection. There's like Fenty Beauty Powder everywhere. Then I have this Suva Beauty Hydra Liner that I don't really use. I used it once for a makeup look. Here I have this Anastasia Brow Stencil Set that I got as a gift but I've never used. Then I just have a Morphe pair of brow scissors and this is also a bit messy because this is from the sharpening the lip liners. Then I have this Maybelline Sky High Mascara and the Anastasia Lash Break Mascara. I have this Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara which I really like actually. It's really similar to this one from Benefit. This is the Gimme Brow one. Then here I have my Charlotte Tilbury eyeliner in the shade Mesmerizing Maroon. I got this for Christmas and it's really, really nice. I have this MAC Black eyeliner pencil that I got as a gift with an order, but I don't really use black liner a lot. And then I just have my e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. So then here is the drawer that I definitely am in love with the most. This is my eyeshadow palette drawer. I can do a full eyeshadow collection video if you guys want to see that, but right now I'll just go through of them quickly. I have three of these peaches and cream pigments. So there is the shade Pixie, then there is Gatsby, and there is She's All That. So in here I just have the Riviera palette from Anastasia. It's really pretty. I got this as a gift from my boyfriend last year, and it is really pretty. I just don't use it as much. Here is one of my favorite palettes of all time. This is the Too Faced Gingerbread Spice palette. And this is just such a pretty palette. I really like that. And I actually hit pan on one of these shades here, which I'm really proud of. Then I have the Charlotte Tilbury Quad in the Pillow Talk Luxury Palette of Pops. So these are just all of her pop shades. I have this KKW Classic One palette right here. This just looks like this. It is a really pretty like everyday palette. Then I have this one from Kylie Cosmetics. This is the Sipping Pretty Eyeshadow palette. It has a lot of pretty neutral shades. It also has some pops of pink. So I really like using this one and I definitely want to keep this in my collection. Then I have another KKW Beauty palette. This is the BFF palette and this is actually a really pretty cool toned eyeshadow palette. I haven't seen a lot of people talk about this. There's not a lot of videos on this. Then I have my Kylie and the Grinch palette. This was so hard to get. It was sold out so fast but I was really happy that I got it. This is what it looks like. And then here we have the Grinch. And here I have my two ColourPop Frozen palettes. So here's the Elsa ones that I showed in my ColourPop video as well. I really like using this. This is actually one of my favorites. 
and then I just have the Anna palette as well which I still have yet to use I don't know for some reason I just think it's too pretty to use but I really need to use this because it is gorgeous then here I have the Grandeur palette which I showed in my Colourpop ranking video as well as one of my favorites I really like this one then we just have Baby Got Peach, which I don't really use a lot, but it is really pretty. I'll definitely use this more when it's springtime. Then I just have the Flutter By palette, which is really pretty as well. And then here I just have this empty Colourpop palette with two pressed glitters in here. I don't use pressed glitters, but Colourpop sent me the wrong order, so I got these and I thought I might as well keep them. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but right now they're just chilling in this palette. And then here in the back I have this Disney Catrice Daisy palette that I bought for a review. So these are all my smaller eyeshadow palettes and then now I'll show you my bigger palettes. So these are my big palettes that I have, that is why I keep them in here. So first I have the Anastasia Norfina Volume 1 palette. This is really pretty. I still want to do a review about this on my channel. It is really pretty. Then I have the Morphe Sweet Oasis palette, which I showed in one of my recent videos. I have the Morphe 35 Icy Fantasy palette, which I also did a video on. Then here in the back, I don't know if you're able to see it, we have the Carnival 3 Love Tahiti from Be Perfect. I got that in the summertime. And then here I have this Kimchi Cheek face palette that I got from one of my friends. And this just has two blushes and two highlighters. It is really pretty. I need to use this. And then here I just have this KKW Contour Palette, which I don't use a lot actually. And I'm still thinking about decluttering this one. But it is just still chilling here because I don't use it a lot. And then this is the final drawer of my makeup collection. And I should really hurry because my battery is about to die, I see. So I just have some random things here. I have some lashes, these ones, and then also these ones. I have this Essence Lash Princess Mascara that I really like to use for eye looks, for bottom lashes. I have my P. Louise Base, Color Pop Eyeliner in the shade Honey Dude. I have a liquid eyeshadow, a setting spray, and then my lash glue. Then here I just have my Color Pop Pretty Fresh Hydronomic Acid Setting Spray. And then two more color P. Louise bases, a pink one and a purple one. Here I have this Juno & Co. Microfiber Sponge. And then here I have a full-size Airbrush Flawless Foundation in the shade 2 Neutral. And this is still closed, so I want to use up my Estee Lauder foundation a bit more before I will use this one. And then here I just have some makeup supplies. So that was already my entire makeup collection. Okay guys, and this was it for my makeup collection video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it and find it interesting to see my collection. I'm of course not trying to brag in any way. So if you did enjoy this video, then I would absolutely love it if you gave it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos. All of these things would help me so much with my channel and I'd really appreciate it. But with that said, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. I really hope you have an amazing day and I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye!